Hello friends, welcome to Edu Tricks with Renu. Today I am here with a new topic that is addition, subtraction and their properties. So let's start. See, first of all we will talk about addition. The number that are the numbers that are added are called addends. The number that are added are called addends. The result of addition is called the sum. Okay. Now see for example 2 and 3. Here two numbers are added. So these are called addends. What do we call them? We call them addends. And when they are added, so the result is called the sum. So here 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. So 5 is the sum. Let's take one more example. Now 5 plus 6 is equals to 11. So 5 and 6 are the addends and 11 is the sum. So let's discuss the properties of addition. The first property is associative property or grouping property of addition. In this property, it is explained that when numbers or variables are added, when numbers or variables are added, the addends can be grouped in different ways. Okay, the addends can be grouped in the addends can be grouped in different ways without changing the result. Means the result cannot be changed no matter the addends could be changed or they can be grouped in any of the way. Okay. For example, here 3 plus 4 are grouped plus 5, okay, 3 plus 4 are grouped in a bracket and then 5 is added to them and here 4 and 5 are grouped and 3 is added to them, okay. Then both the side result is same, okay, results are same. So this is what the associative property of addition says, it says that no matter the addends can be grouped in any of the way, the result will be same. There is no change in the result. Okay. So, second property is commutative or order property of addition. So, this property by the name itself, we can say that is an, it is an order property of addition. So, this property states that when numbers or variables are added, the order of the addends can be changed without changing the results. Means we can change the order of the addends and the result will be same. For example, here we have 2 plus 3. We can write 2 plus 3 as 3 plus 2. Right? We can also write 2 plus 3 as 3 plus 2. Or we can take one more example like we can write 3 plus 6 equals to 6 plus 3 but the results will be same like in this result will be 5 in both the cases and here the result will be 9 in both the, the third property is zero property or identity of addition this property states that when zero is added to a number the result is the number itself it means that when we add 0 to any of the number, like we can take 0 plus 10, the number, the result is the number itself, means the result is 10 itself. We can take one more example as if we write 0 plus 8, the answer is 8 itself, means if we can add 0 to any of the number, the result is the number itself. Okay. Now we will study properties of subtraction. The first property is 
when we subtract 0 from a number, difference is the number itself. It means when 0 is subtracted from a number, the answer is the number itself. Okay. For example, here I have taken 34 minus 0 is equals to 34. Obviously, we know that if 0 is subtracted from a number, the result will be the number itself. Now here, one more example is here. 28 minus 0 is equals to 28. So I think it is understood. Now come to the next point, the next property of subtraction that is when we subtract a number from itself, the difference is always 0. Yes. When we subtract a number, here we have taken 76. So when we subtract 76 from itself, it will become 0. The answer will be 0. Okay. Now see here, here we have taken 42. So 42 minus 42 will be 0. So this property states that when a number is subtracted from itself, the answer will be 0. Now we will study the terms which are used for subtractions. So now comes terms used in subtraction. Here are some terms which are used in subtraction sums. Okay. So let's see. Minus, less, difference, decrease, take away from and deduct. These are some terms which are used in subtraction questions. Okay. Now, let's study some names. The names of the numbers in a subtraction fact are the names of the numbers in a subtraction facts are minuend, subtrahend and difference. See, minuend is a number that is to be subtracted from. Means, it is a number from which the another number is to be subtracted. Okay. Subtrahend is a number that is to be subtracted from the minuend. Okay. And here is the difference that is the result of minuend minus subtrahend. Okay. So friends, I think the video, this lecture is clear to you. I hope you have understood the concept. So for more videos, subscribe onto our YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.